so this is an exhibit about you. Okay? This is all about you. Whether you're small and young or the sunny side of 60 like me, this is all about you. And when you look at your body, when you look at it exposed like this, you have to admit that you're pretty marvelous. We are all pretty marvelous people. And we live in this body for our entire lives. I say, uh, you probably have been given some very precious gifts in your life. But the most precious gift that you've been given is the body that you live in. Okay? Now, who's responsible for this body? Your mother? Your father? No. You're responsible. And so everybody that wants to blame their parents for all of their problems, probably, you know, when you point one finger at somebody, the others point back at you, you don't realize that there are many things that you can do to your body that harm it and that are not very, very uh, healthy in terms of how you take care of it. Uh, I was talking to somebody the other day. He said, you know, I exercise regularly. I don't smoke. I don't drink excessively. Uh, and I said, but do you get enough sleep? He says, oh, I, I'm so busy. He says, you know, and there's this, uh, this show that uh, goes on until 1 o'clock in the morning that I have to watch. Then I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning to get to school on time. And I said, the amount of sleep that you get for your body's sake is just as important as the amount of exercise you get as the quality of the diet that you eat and all of these things. So it all goes together. So what we want you to do here is to learn more about yourself. What lies under your skin? 216 bones, give or take a few. Over 600 skeletal muscles, give or take a few. Um, every um, muscle has two attachments to a bone. Every muscle has a nerve that supplies it, a blood vessel that supplies it, and one or two functions that it performs. Do the math, and you're not even out of the first gallery yet, or second gallery, and immediately you're overwhelmed with all of this stuff. I mean, how does anybody remember it all? Uh, but medical students, uh, that's what they do. They dissect bodies, they see all these muscles, they learn as much about them as they can. And so now, this is not medical school, okay? There is no quiz at the end of the exhibit. But it's a learning adventure for you. Because you will see things that even physicians have never seen before. Even though they've dissected bodies and worked with them for years. So this is an opportunity of a lifetime, really. I mean, you can go and see a Van Gogh. I mean, they come around every once in a while. When you can you see a body like this? When it leaves Shreveport, you may never see it again. And uh, we're really happy to be here because there are a lot of bodies around Shreveport. And uh, we want people to take better care of them. Some people ask us, well, why are you in Shreveport? Well, why not? Right? I mean, uh, we've been all around the world. It's about time we got to Shreveport. So here we are, working with uh, the museum here. They're our partner. They uh, have engaged us to come here. We've been invited to your city, and we have graciously, ex graciously accepted. You ought to know that none of these bodies belong to me. Okay? We cannot buy them. That is illegal. We cannot sell them to you. That is illegal. We could get thrown in jail for a long time for doing that. So these bodies are donated for the purpose of education and research. They are dissected and preserved. It takes maybe a year and a half to do this. Okay? So a long time. But we are now the the recipients of these bodies, we are the caretakers of them. It is our job 
to display them respectfully in a museum-like environment so that you can come and learn from them. When we're done, we have to send them back to the medical schools that originally received them, because that's who they belong to. And then you might ask, well, what's going to happen to them? Well, these bodies will be cremated, and the ashes will be buried in the ground. It's what happens to all the donor bodies that are used in medical schools uh, here in the United States or wherever it might happen. So this is a great opportunity for you to see things that the general public has never, ever seen before. And uh, it's interesting that no two bodies in the whole world are exactly alike. You are unique. Or you are a unique person. Uh, maybe because you do kind of strange things. That's not what I mean. I mean, we all do strange things. It's you're a unique person inside. Your body is not like any other. How can that be? How many people are there in the world? How can I be unlike anybody else? Well, it's true. So, enjoy your visit. Uh, learn as much as you can. Come back and see us again. Go on the web or the internet and learn more. Go to your library, check out a book. If you're interested in muscles, you'll find many, many, many books on muscles.